Hey ladies, how you doing? So I want to come today and I want to show you my favorite summer lipsticks and lip gloss. I'm just like so hooked up on nice bright summer pink coral colors and I'm very surprised at the colors that I've been picking. I mean, I'm, I'm normally, I normally wear pinks anyway, but the tones of the pink are definitely shocking me because I usually don't go that bright, but I'm liking it. What I have on my lips today, this is, um... It's in my lip gloss favorites, so you'll definitely see that. But I'm going to start out with the lipsticks, just so um, you'll know those. In addition, everything I'm showing you here is still available in the stores. Nothing is discontinued or anything like that, or even hard to even try to get. It's real easy to get. I'm going to start out with the best, which is the most affordable. You know I like to have affordable things, and it's Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. These four, I have more than this. I have quite a few Wet n Wilds, but these here are the ones that I keep in my purse. And I'm going to show you my um my little makeup bag. This is what I carry in my purse. And I don't carry eyeshadow, eyeliner, any of that stuff, mascara, blush, blotting powder. I only carry lipstick and liquid because I feel like I don't wear that much makeup to start with. So it shouldn't rub off, fall off, or slide off my face. So, but um, yeah, these are the ones that I have, and these are the ones that I love the most. And this is Smoking Hot Pink. Really, really nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this on my blog so you can see the colors close up. I'm contemplating if I'm going to do, like, lip swatches or just on my arm. So when you go to my blog, you'll see. <laughs> and I'll let you know when it's up. I'll put it on Instagram. And this next one here, this is mob out of here this is the best and some of them you have you may have to wear with a um a lip liner some you may not just depending on your skin tone undertones and things of that nature and how bright like your lipstick to look because these do look kind of dark but when you actually put them on they are bright and this here oh wine room oh my god this is so so pretty and uh, this is a nude and i do have to wear a lip liner with this because it's a little, little bright. This is bare at all. Okay. And you probably can't see it. I'm so sorry. But again, it will be my blog. I'll let you know. And I may insert something at the end of the video with them on my arm so you can see. And I have some more here. This is a Revlon. Out of my drugstore. My favorite drugstore line. And this might be a stretch. No, it's not a stretch. My favorite, favorite drugstore line. I'm not going to include like the Wet n Wilds and things like that or the NYC. Cause that's a, another ball game. But like the other high-end brands of the drugstore, like the Revlons, the L'Oreal, and the Maybelline and Physician Formula. I love Revlon and Maybelline. So the Revlon one that I like, this is called Rosy Nude. I love this. It's it's a darker nude. It does have like a, not a pink tone, but it's really, really, really pretty. And I like it. It's nude, a dark nude with pink kind of sort of, but not that unattractive pink. You know, that's not for my skin tone, I should say. Another one that I like, and I was kind of scared because it's a darker color, but it does complement me very well. And it's a... um Maybelline Color Whisper and this one is in Plum Prospect. I did an Instagram pic of this on and I was so shocked that it looked the way it did on me. I was very shocked because again growing up, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, growing up I saw like my aunt, my mom met me, my mom wore a lot of red lips, even to this day she wore a lot of reds and if she does wear a darker red it might be like a deep berry red or something like that but um Growing up, all I saw was my aunts wearing like that get down brown, you know, from Posno or whoever. There's really, really, really dark browns. And when I was growing up and I was able to wear lipstick, I never, never, I never reached for that. So it was hard for me to get into that. I, I just can't. Even to this day, I can't. Well, I'm going to try. I was thinking about it later on, like when the weather gets a little cooler to go get like, um, Rebel. I do have a lipstick from Wet n Wild that's a dark lipstick. I think you guys know what that is, but I'm going to have to pull that one out and just kind of get myself into it. But this is about the summer right now, so we're talking about the fall. And this lovely one, this is the, um, what is this called? This is Shocking Coral. 
these are the vivids the maybelline vivids and this here this reminds me of viva glam mickey num the first one and i have that one so i guess it's because of the backup if i would have known that i wouldn't have bought it because i hate to have two of the same i know we do it but ugh. but i'm not returning it because i do wear it <laughs> and this is called nyx shocking pink this hair I absolutely love. I was so afraid of this when I first put it on. I did an Instagram pic of this and I mixed it with another NYX. Um, that's in my favorite. <laughs> um, I was very, very scared, but this really, really complements my dark skin because it has like a blue undertone to me. I don't know to the next person. But my favorite lip glosses for the summer is these two. This is NYX and these are the, um, I think it's a mega gloss. Yeah, Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And this one is in Dolly Pink. And I would wear this either by itself or I would wear it over the Shocking Pink. It looks so pretty. Especially with a nude makeup look and just have your lips really, really bright. It looks really, really good. And this one is called Beige. This is a pretty peachy tone lipstick. And I have this one on today. It's not overpowering. It's not. No, it doesn't make you look washed out or pale or anything like that. Well, I can't look pale, but you know, make your lips look like that dry, ashy look. And Revlon, of course. These two. These two, um, I believe this is Coral Reef and this is um, Pink Pop. Pink Pop is still available. It's in the new tube. This one, I believe, is discontinued. Or they do have something that's very similar, but it's named different. And it may have shimmer in it. I'm not sure. But these two are the best. I keep these two in my bag. And when I get to work, I put them out on my my desk. Because through the course of the day, I do touch my lips up. But one in the morning, I might be pink. And by after lunch, I'm coral. But I just love these. So that's pretty much it. Those are my summer favorite lipsticks and lip glosses i hope you enjoy them if you have any of them please let me know down below if there's something that i did not mention in the video please let me know i can go try it i love pink and coral lipsticks and not in all shades but shades that complement my skin tone so please let me know if you like the video please rate comment and subscribe and thank you guys i'll talk to you guys later bye